Oh, this is gonna be easy. We've done things with cats before. The last time we had a boat, but this is pretty similar anyways. And we just picked up whatever that thing was and you're gonna die. It's just a simple game about killing everything that walks towards you very slowly. We got a headshot on that one. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, we can have plus one wave or we could have plus five waves. That one is pretty easy, so... It costs money to skip that. We've run 200 meters, so we got an achievement for that. Let's just go plus one wave. I wanna make money, not spend money. Just everything hurry up and die. Give me your insides. I'll go back to my home village and kill all them for money too. I just need the upgrades. Oh, what is this thing? Uh-oh. How do I... Okay. Uh, okay. That thing died. And we got some boots. Uh, so these give plus one move speed. Do we just go ahead and uh, put them there? No, we're not strong enough. We can put on our amulet though, which gave us one extra HP. Okay, so what comes after the boss then? I really, I'm level five now, so uh, I'm close to wearing the boots and a few other things. We just need to keep leveling up. So it means I'm just going to sit here killing things for a long, long time. A better gun would probably make this a little bit faster. I also can't help but notice I have uh, MP too, along with HP. So we can clearly use that at some point. I just need a magic wand or something. Shouldn't all the shots at the slimes be headshots? They're like all head. What do you mean by that? I haven't really been paying attention to how much money I'm making, I just know it's going up slowly. It is kind of satisfying, just killing things, and we got another necklace. That one we're probably gonna sell. The waves of idiots are definitely getting stronger now. This one, they're getting a little bit close to me, but still not close enough to be a worry. Level 6. And this one is wave 15, so I'm thinking there's gonna be some stronger idiots about. And if not, well, that's fine too. We'll just continue to kill the smiling slimes. Oh, and we got our fuzzy little friend back. This time I was prepared for him though a little bit, and you're dead. Ooh, what's that thing? That was a simple ring, which will give me 18 HP. Actually, that's pretty good. And then can we wear uh, the boots yet? Uh, where did my gun go? Oh, I see. You can cycle between weapons. That makes sense. How do I do this? Why are we allowed to do this? Does that cost money? I don't know why it's letting me do this. I assume that's costing some kind of currency that I'm not noticing yet. So we'll just go back to killing things for a second. Then we'll buy a new weapon shortly. Or we'll maybe even find a new weapon. You never know. Start of wave 17. Hoping it's going to get a little bit more difficult. But then again, we're going to get new guns soon anyway. So it doesn't really matter what happens. Another item also just dropped. I didn't really see what it was. But I'm just enjoying Cat Goes Murdering. It was a plus one defense. So we're just going to go ahead and put that up top. Up. And now we look even more adorable. I don't know what we look. Just leveled up again to level 7. Headshot there. Touched this guy, but that's okay because I returned the favor by putting a bullet in him. Off to almost $11,000. Alright, wave 20. Here we go. This one should end with the boss. And I mean, my few little upgrades probably have made a pretty good difference. Uh, we haven't had a struggle yet anyway, so we don't really notice exactly the difference it has made. But I'm assuming after these two, we'll hear a boss come in. Yep. Then we're going to start... Oh, he came from the other side this time. How very sneaky. We're going to, uh, yeah, just kind of jump through there. We still have tons of health. So, good. This cat is a natural murderer. Ooh, what are these? Those are glowing. Oh, they're like a better quality boots. They're leather boots. They get defense and movement speed. So we'll go ahead and slap those on. And then we're going to head back to home to see what exactly we can upgrade here. Okay, I found some of these things. So I can upgrade uh, this thing a little bit. 432 an hour. Is that what it's telling me? Can I just kill this guy and take his? Anyways, here at the shop is more of the kind of stuff I'm looking for. There's actually a lot of fun looking guns. They get expensive, but... Boy, oh boy, do I want some of these. We have $11,000, so we're going to take a Z-Gun for now. We can't use it yet. But we're going to hit the gym a little bit first. We're going to level up body and damage a little bit. That put us to $7,500, but I think that probably made us a lot stronger. Okay, this time instead of the battle, let's try the map. And I think these correspond to like the wave. So I was on somewhere around 20. So let's try, I don't know, 39. Am I understanding this correctly? Is this going to be... It's kind of got a hill. So that's fun. Yep, so this is actually just wave 39. We'll see how strong we are exactly. We did just get a pretty good upgrade, but we're also double the waves. Oh, and there's bears. There's a lot of bears. Uh-oh, shoot the bears. And keep moving, and we're dead. Okay, we might not be strong enough for that wave. Uh, we're not going to resurrect. We're going to go back to where we belong. Back to wave 21. But we're stronger than when we were here last time, so this really shouldn't be hard at all. I think what I would really like is something that could maybe increase my luck, since item drops are a thing. Can we go plus five waves? $1,500? Yeah, I would pay that. Because wave whatever we were just on really wasn't a struggle. Five waves ahead, we could probably manage this fairly reasonably. I need to remember to pay attention to damage too. We're doing 33 damage now, which is great. Uh, there's like an army helmet, so that'll be some good armor. Uh, it does HP plus 1% as opposed to this, which does defense plus 1. 1% HP would be an extra like 2, so yeah, whatever. And then we're on to wave 30, so there's probably going to be a boss at the end of this one, and I can't wait. Uh, also leveled up again, so we're now level 9. One more level and I get my uh, Z gun or whatever it was. 
was. Wow, there's actually just a really sudden step up in difficulty. And the big fuzzy is back. We'll go ahead and just shoot it until it dies. I have to move through it once, but we still got plenty of HP, so this will be fine. And you're dead. What is that thing? Uh, this just goes ahead and, uh, takes up a bunch of room in my inventory. Cooldown minus 8.3%. Do we- Oh, okay. It's like a- another cat. Oh yeah, it literally is. It just follows me around. Can you take damage for me? Cat, do stuff. Okay, it just picks up coins then. That's fine, I guess. As long as I don't have to feed it, we'll be just fine. I was hoping it would actually do, you know, some shooting or something, but I guess it does save me on the cooldowns, but I don't have anything to cool down yet anyway. Unless it means reload speed, but then it should say reload speed. And I finally hit level 10. Okay, going back home, we're going to buy the Z gun for uh, whatever that was. Then we're going to hit the gym and we're going to buy extra damage, I guess. And then we're going to try the next... Wait, where's my gun? Oh, okay. So yeah, this is a big upgrade. Cool, now we can go fight the bears probably. I feel like we can fight a lot of things with this gun, so this is going to be great. Now we can find better items and guns and stuff, and we're also getting kind of poor. Alright, so this is uh, wave 39 on this place. Uh, things are a bit stronger definitely, but I have a machine gun now. So things will hopefully go better. Plus I have more armor and HP and stuff. Yeah, we're able to take out the bears now. Bears are the enemy. Whenever you see them, they must be eliminated at all costs. And we're done. Oh, we got a bone. It's an amulet. It does eight extra HP. So we'll just go ahead and replace the old one because I'm sure it's better. And for that, mine gives you 10 bitcoins each one hour, I guess. What does the one with the sword do? HP plus five? I'll take five HP. We're going to fight spiders to do it. This is like cat goes murdering spiders in the woods. I think we're also getting a lot of experience. Maybe not from this, but from the bears we must have. Oh, no, we have also skeletons. This is kind of a natural functioning ecosystem. What is that thing? Okay, it's a butcher, but it's also dead. So I think we get 5 HP. Yeah, we captured that. We get the extra uh, HP. What do you suppose this angry little red guy is? First boss. Item quality. Uh, is that your chance of... Yeah, whatever. I'm not here to read. I'm here to shoot things. I was elected to lead. Not to read. What are we shooting? Here comes uh, the boss. It's got 97 DPS compared to this old gun that has about the same actually. And my new one has 166. So let's sell that. Actually, can we upgrade my Z gun? What does that cost to upgrade? Damage. Oh, $250 for actually that's worth it. So maybe we should try something a little harder. 125. Do you think we could do this? Probably not. But we're going to give it our best shot. Look at that thing. Oh, okay. It's a boss already. Are you the boss? Oh, you're very tough. Jump through. Actually, we probably could take this on. It hurts us, but not like a ton. Am I hitting it in the head? I don't know where its head is. Is that it? I don't know which part of you to shoot. It's making me very uncomfortable. We did also find some kind of fun helmet. What is this? Ancient helmet. Defense plus eight, damage plus three. Yes, that's actually quite good. So what do we go for next then? There's so much fun stuff here. What is this? Gold? Okay, it gives me gold for completing this. So we have $1,581 to start. So we'll see what we get at the end. It might just reward me anyway. We're actually making quite a bit of money just to kind of complete this. Ow. Stop. Stop hitting me. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, that one is maybe a bit more than we could uh, deal with. So we'll find somewhere else. Okay, this one's only 25. Completing it will get me one extra damage. Uh, one extra damage is actually going to make quite a difference. It's easy to headshot spiders because they're basically all ahead. As long as I'm shooting them, I'm shooting them in the head. Oh, and we got a butcher boss coming in again. Luckily, he's very slow and a little bit stupid. And one damage. Look at this crazy hill. This is wave 64, so it's going to be a little bit harder than the other one, but still not that bad. We're doing lots of damage now. Even the bears can't stand up to us. Well, these ones maybe can a little bit. We're going to hop over everything and get them all on the same side and then murder them all like that. We also found some boots. Defense plus six. These ones do much better. This wave is going to be level 89, so it's definitely going to have a little bit of resistance to it. So far, it's just a lot of the green idiots and a few of the slimes, so I think I'll actually be able to do this one fairly easily. We're doing... 37 damage. That was way too easy. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to get my source of like money. So we're just going to upgrade the damage a whole bunch more. And I guess upgrade the miner because we had some contracts we got from somewhere. 1152 per hour. What do you think hell is? Gold monster. I like gold monsters. Where is it? Our damage is hopefully enough to carry us through whatever this is. I don't really know what it means by gold monster. Wave one is done. Here comes wave two. I guess we just keep going and going and going. I can't help but notice nothing's really dropping anything. The gold monster timer's going down now. Where's the gold monster? Okay, we're set. There it is, I think. Oh, I see. Okay, every once in a while it shows up to give us some gold. This is probably a nice quick way to gather experience because I can just continually kill things. The next gold monster should be here somewhere. Did I already kill it? 
might have already killed it. Okay, just killed another one. They're giving me like 300 gold per kill. The idiots are definitely getting stronger. I don't know how we got to wave 129 already though. I thought we were on like 30, so I'm not really sure what happened there. We clearly skipped a few, but I don't know if we're going to last much longer at this rate. Uh, we're making decent money and decent experience, but I'm having to jump over a lot of spiders now. And we've been nice to kill one more. No. Nope. All right. Well, I'm just going to go back to continuing on my uh, normal waves for now because that'll give me decent experience and money anyways. Uh, we have transitioned to the bear land uh, in regular waves. So that's kind of fun. It's nice to kill a variety of creatures. With all of our damage and stuff right now, it's really not a struggle. All the way up to wave 45 now. So things are getting stronger. We're making pretty good money every run and a little bit of experience. Uh, there's a pair of socks that dropped. So those might be good. Also, I think we're about to fight a boss. Our our damage though is more than enough to kick take care of that big thing. Ooh, these boots are purple. Plus one move speed, five HP. So, yep. And then we got a new contract. So I think we can upgrade this one more time. And then it's just right back to battle because might as well. There's level 15. So I'm pretty sure we can use higher level stuff now. We just can't afford it because I spend all my money on stupid things. I also just put all of my skill points into armor. I don't know where it shows how many I have, but I use them all on armor. So now when things hit me, it's not going to do much damage at all. Or at least a lot less than it did before. Another Another wave done and I found another one of these. This is damage plus two. The one I have now is damage three so mine's way better. Wave number 50. This one will definitely come with the boss and it also comes with some of the weird robot alien things. They're definitely a little bit tougher. I'm taking a little bit of damage dealing with them so that's a nice change of pace. We actually have to try a little bit plus here comes the boss who's just this guy again. We fought one of these before. Not doing a lot of damage but certainly taking a lot from me so you're dead. There's another contract. So let's go ahead and upgrade this with the contract. I mean we could upgrade the Z gun for only $500 but we could also spend another $5,000 on damage here. That's probably worth it. I don't remember what damage we were doing before but I just went back to the map thing to challenge a boss again to see if it makes a difference. Oh it's this guy again. Oh no wait he's coming. There he is. That's the real boss. So we're doing 41 or 83 damage on crits if I saw that correctly. So 41 damage is lots. We were doing I don't know what we were before the upgrades. But there's some damage. We've got golden socks. These add movement speed and dodge, but I'd much rather have the damage I get from these. Oh no, these give movement speed and okay, so we're putting the new ones on for sure. Actually, if we can continually kill that thing, uh yeah, we can uh get some items every time. Oh, this is the... Oh, I see. I can drop these. I see how it works now. I'm not stupid. I'm just really, really slow. But I also leveled up, so there you go. We'll put some damage on you. Walk through you. Uh, you hit for about 40 damage. Uh, plus our health regenerates slowly, so we'll kill this thing as many times as we want. Plus we'll sell whatever drops for money. This is a low level wave at only level 5 on the map. I'm just not really sure what the reward is for killing this one. Oh, we get a boss fight. Luckily we do lots of damage, so easy. Okay, the reward is a mine apparently. Okay, yes, we have a mine ability now. So the first ability we have. Oh, maybe I want this one, Experience Plus. That sounds like one we should have had a long time ago. On the bright side, we're not going to have to try very hard to get it because uh, I feel like we're overpowered for this section of the map. So now I can be putting points into extra experience, uh, which I would love to be doing if I didn't put them all into armor. Oh wait, we can just reset that. Okay, great. Now we can put them all into extra experience. That way we'll level up quicker. A lot quicker. Uh, I also want this one for gold plus. This is a level 100 thing so it's going to be hard. And we have eyeball creatures and skeletons. I think our damage will carry us through this now. I don't think this is going to be that bad even with this big guy and that big guy. It's trying to get a little bit intense but I think we're going to be okay still. Uh, we got a boss fight though so let's kite you around a little bit. I think we're going to be okay because we take most of your health there and the rest there. You know, I have gold plus. It's not a big increase though, so I'd rather just put that into experience. Uh, and then I don't really know how to unlock... Wow, there's a lot of these. Uh, I assume we just have to level ourselves up or something, so we'll just go back to our normal waves of battle, I guess. We're back on 51, but our extra experience is going to level us up extra quick. Skipping five waves definitely gets expensive now, but I'm going to do it just because I'm impatient. Jumping up to 57. We got another level up thanks to my extra experience. And wave 60, where we're back to these big idiots and there's going to be a boss at the end. It's probably going to be one of these big idiots. And this is also why I stacked damage up for as long as I did. Might be able to jump over him if he's on a hill. Nope, but I can just straight up murder him like that. 
there's some gold boots. Defense for HP 11. I'd rather have a bit of dodge and stuff on these. Okay, I kind of wonder if I need to finish all of these to unlock more of the ones behind the locks. I don't really know how this works, so I'm just going to finish off everything I can. Uh, this is the hardest one I fought so far at 155. Uh, I did also just find a purple item on the ground, so I'm wondering if that's something of significance. Might also die. Well, that's a lot of bears. Can I just resurrect? No, I'm not paying that. But I did find a purple. Uh, defense plus 2.5%, HP plus 3.6%. That's probably actually pretty good. Then I guess I'll just go back to the good old fashioned waves we left off on 61 and kill a few things just for some experience and money. Uh, but with our damage now, it's really not hard to kill these waves. I don't really need to try at all. Uh, I also found another one of these cat things. This one actually gets me better gold. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the one that gives me extra gold. I uh, found another uh, furry boss again. Not a problem. Thanks for my damage once again. And it dropped a gun for us. Uh, since this was a boss wave, let's spend a lot of money just to skip right to the next one at level 70. Uh, the level 70 wave is actually kind of hard because we can take a lot of damage from those guys. So the boss fight then, we're going to be okay, but it was closer than I thought thought it was going to be. So we're finally at about our uh, limit skill-wise right now. We can also take some health regen if we want because we've got a few skill points to spend. Maybe some armor wouldn't be the worst idea in the world now. I'm going to take a little more damage again. Actually, a lot more damage and probably just a little more health. And then we're going to try this level 150 one more time. Hopefully the extra damage is just enough to carry me through. Plus, I do have the bit of armor, which will help me stay alive. But I'm mostly just hoping the damage can carry me through, which it probably can't from what I'm seeing. Uh-oh. Uh, jump and... Okay, there's too many bears. It was close, though. So I guess we'll just go back to the regular battle battling idiots for a minute. Uh, whatever I just killed also just dropped like a golden helmet, so that also might be very good. And we got the furry boss coming in again. I never get tired of killing this one. Maybe he'll drop me a new gun that's even better. Or a fidget spinner. So this gives lots of defense and ammo. Where does it go? Maybe I should upgrade my gun a bunch. And time for the boss at level 80, who's probably actually going to be considerably strong. Going to get one hit on me, but that's really about it, because then you're dead. And I actually might have just dropped the same gun I have. Yep, sure did. This one only has 26 damage, though, where mine does 33. So we can go ahead and sell this one. Yeah, look how much money I have. Isn't that fun? Well, let's add some more damage and then some more uh, body. And then I want to try killing this boss again a few more times. The one that's at 125, they can drop me items. Because I... I'm wondering if they can drop a better version of my gun. If not, this better version of items in general. And I think the experience is going to be too good to ignore. The socks are garbage, but they're worth $50. But killing the bosses is actually just really easy and quick, because all we have to do is spawn them in after killing a single enemy, and then kill them. And it dropped me socks again, but it also drops those other things that I can use, such as movement speed. And actually, I get a reward for killing the boss one more time. And it dropped purple socks this time, so that's probably the highest quality uh, you can get is purple, so we get dodge and movement speed which aren't actually as good as what i have now which also have dodge and movement speed but i can level up a little bit now so it's just a matter of what one want to level up maybe hp regen and some more armor i'm gonna try the hard level one more time uh i'm hoping my extra damage and a little bit of armor can carry me through this but i don't know if it's gonna be any different we're not that much stronger than we were before and uh, we've got a lot of bears we need to kill but if they're all on one side of me, we actually have a chance at this. Yep, that was just lucky spawning on their part. We leveled up because that's just a lot of bears. And I think we did it. And he's dead. Didn't get any items, but we did finish whatever this was. And that did unlock new stuff. Ooh, look at all the new places we have to play with. What does this give me? Oh, you can give me the AK. Uh, everything here is probably going to be unreasonably strong, but I wouldn't mind an AK. So first we kill those and then the boss is going to spawn in. We got a free item anyway. Are you the boss? What are you? Let's try that again. Uh, hopefully just not taking quite so much damage in the boss. So it's coming in that way. Where's its health meter? Can I not hit this thing? Or does it not have a health meter? Am I being stupid? Oh wait, it's right there. Duh. Okay, I didn't even get close to killing it. So we've got some work to do clearly before we're going to take on that thing. I've just realized that uh, my experience is well ahead of where it needs to be right now. So I'm going to reset my skill points and then I'm going to put them all onto gold for a few minutes because we need lots of money. So we're going to make 40% more than we did before. I also just found a new fidget spinner. This one simply does plus four damage. So that gave me about an extra 10% damage overall. And here's the level 95 boss who's probably still going to die fairly easily. Only hits me for 30 damage and dropped me a new helmet. Uh, but a 4.2% damage increase isn't bad. Probably not as good as a straight 3 though. 
And here's an even better fidget spinner. It's at one extra damage, but I'll take that. That puts me over 50 base damage. And finally, the big level 100. Surely this will have something interesting to give me at the end. It might also be a changing of the loot, so anything from here forward might be able to drop better guns. Oh, you're not a very exciting boss. You have 2,000 health though, so you will die reasonably quick and there's a fidget spinner and a contract this one has a higher crit chance i don't really care about crit chance i just want plain old damage wave 105 and i got a new one of these things and we get a boss fight it's a big furry again this one's got 2050 health so it's getting somewhat stronger but I think I still won that pretty comfortably. As for my new helmet, that only adds defense, which I don't care about. Those add movement speed, so if they're not damaged, I don't want them. I've just realized I probably could fight the boss a little smarter if I didn't have anything, everything under gold find. Like if I actually gave myself some armor, that would probably help, and also some health, then I would survive longer to shoot the boss more. Science, yeah. And I'm gonna put a few points into HP regen, then we're gonna try and fight the boss. Surely this will go much better this time. We're not doing any damage, but we have a ton more HP. So the boss is already here. Uh, the hits definitely for less damage, but not really enough to be a difference maker, I think. We did survive a lot longer than we did before, to be fair. Uh, it's conceivable, actually. We took off five, four fifths of its health. I'm just going to straight up resurrect because I really just want to kill this thing. I just sacrificed a lot of something to do it and oh, I was hoping for a better gun. But oh, look at that. We got a bracelet for three damage. Okay, well, since it can potentially drop me the auto gun, we're just going to go ahead and buy the G launcher anyway for $30,000. Uh, its DPS is 229. That'll be fine. So we're going to give this a little test. Uh, interesting. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit crazy to use, but I think it's going to do the damage we're looking for. 192. And it can hit multiple enemies, so yeah, this is going to be the difference maker. Yeah, I just uh, actually struggled to beat the last level. This time we did it like laughably easy, so grenade launchers are probably the way to do it. What is share grenades with everyone? I'm like mostly just standing around waiting for things to show up. That kills all of them all at once. Let's see how the grenade launcher works against bosses. So far so good. It even knocks it back a bit, so that keeps me safe. Yeah, you stay over there. And you're dead. And it's not super expensive to upgrade this. So now we're doing over 200 damage per grenade. Okay, so let's see how this annoying boss uh, handles against a grenade launcher. Because this kills those too easy. Well, the knockback, keep the knockback doesn't keep it back. So this may not even be enough for this boss anyway. Because it just... This boss is just too tough for that. Uh, we're able to hit it a lot, but it kills us. Okay, so what about the next boss? It's probably even harder, but look at those drops. If it's like a land boss, I think I could probably beat it just based on knockback. But uh, are you the boss? What are you? I guess that's the boss. It's not super big. I look at the HP regenerating. Cool. The other gun might be better for this. Grenade Launcher does lots of damage. It's just like impossible to hit this thing. Uh, yeah, we were defeated. Can we resurrect? Not enough to resurrect, but this gun could actually do it. I would just need to not miss quite so many shots. The dodge kind of helps. Yeah, we're going to need to do just a little bit more damage to be able to do this or dodge it because our health will regenerate, but that'll be a problem for next time. We make money per minute, so in a week we're going to be rich.